that was nice and easy. Now we know how we can work with class based components, how we can work with state, the alternative syntax to the state. So why don't we make our application a little bit better looking? Because at the moment, I would have to be honest with you, it kind of looks ugly. And obviously, this is on me, since I'm guiding us. And I don't like the way this is going to look. So why don't we try to again, recreate like we had already with Amazon books, when there's going to be some kind of book, there's obviously going to be a book title, as well as the author, you can choose whatever books you would like. Again, I'm going to pick the ones that I like the most, I guess, judging by the images. And then it's going to look how everything is going to work together, being displayed as a nice application. So first and foremost, I'm going to head over back to the book data. This is where I'm interested. And I'm just going to delete at the moment everything, because we're going to set up everything from the scratch. The neat thing here is that the way we have set up everything that this is being passed to a state, then state has this as books, and then we're doing the mapping. The only thing we're going to have to change is the book data, as well as the book component itself. Notice this guy, the one that we were working in the beginning. This is the one that we're going to have to change. In fact, book list, we're going to be able to just leave it the way it is. Now we're going to get rid of some things, I think, especially in the app. Let me head over back there first, probably. And I'm just going to get rid of this. This is my application. It's kind of obvious that this is going to be our application as well as right away. You know what? Why don't we import the CSS? Because we're going to use a little bit of app CSS. And just to refresh our memory, we have to do it this way, where we have the app, then we have the full file extension. And then the moment we're going to save it. Now we're using the app CSS in our file. Okay. That was easy. Now I can close the sidebar since I am importing the app CSS. I don't need the app JS anymore, as well as I don't need the index. I will going to use the book data. And you know what? My book disappeared. So let me head over back to the book. I'm again, I'm going to close the sidebar. And why don't we change it around a little bit here? I'm going to say, first of all, that there is going to be ID. So fair enough, we're going to work with some kind of ID. Then we're going to have the image. And the way we're going to get the image again, we're not going to download the image, or we're going to get the path. Now the way you can do that, we can just say copy image address, and we're going to set this up in a string. The moment we copy and paste it, everything should be working fine. Then we're also going to have the title, every book should have the title. So this guy is going to be again, our donkey, then this is going to be a string again. Now last but not least, we do have our author. Again, we will going to do a little bit of copying pasting in the beginning because I do find it, uh, even though it's a little bit redundant, I find it a little bit faster than again, just retyping everything. And our idea is again, to kind of see how everything works together, not spend too much time on setting this up. And then I'm going to say that there's going to be three of them. So one, two, three, and let's just change these values. So this would be two, then we're going to have three, and then let's pick some kind of different books. So let's say we're going to be first of all looking for I don't know what. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking for the short titles and everything. And once I'm being put on a spot, I obviously cannot find anything. So let's say here, uh, again, copy image address, then I'm going to replace this guy, as well as the title he is going to be right here. Okay, what else we have? Well, we have the name, which is going to be like this. So we are going to copy and paste this. And then let's do one more. I don't think we need to do too crazy because we might as well can just copy and paste it. And we'll see how everything looks nice. And our former First Lady, why don't we do this one? Let's say blah, 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 comment image address. Then I'm going to write, say like this, copy and paste it then becoming that was the name and yeah of course i'm going here where i didn't want but you know what i was just gonna live with that i'm just gonna have the name here this is gonna be my becoming and then we can do by michelle obama and this is gonna be hard to copy probably okay, let me head over back here and let's say like this so this would be the extent of copying pasting again i understand might be a little bit redundant but still faster than typing everything this by hand. And what I'm noticing right now that I'm only getting the author. So even though everything worked in the book, 
I'm only requesting this book as well as the author. So we would need to change this around a little bit. Obviously, these are not the values that we're getting right now. So what do we have instead is what? Well, we're going to have, first of all, the image. So we're going to be getting the image. Then we have the title and then we have the author. And now I'd like to restructure a little bit where within the article, we're going to have the image. But for the image, this is where we're going to be getting the source. Now, the source is going to be our image. So I'm going to write over here like this. So this would be my image. Let's say book. That would be our image. And we right away can add that on a width of like, I don't know, 150. Hopefully that's going to be small enough as well as we have heading four. Heading four is going to be our title. So let's write here like this. Title. And also we're going to change this guy. And this is obviously going to be our title. And last but not least, we have the heading six for our author. And then for the author, we just want to work with a capital case. And then let's see what we're going to have, whether everything is going to work out or not. And it does. And it looks really good. And again, the key here is like this. Since we're working already a state and we set up everything where we are looping through the state, we're getting our item. This is going to be each and every list item. And then we're passing here as an info. We're only interested here as working with this author. That's all we need. Or, I'm sorry, the book. The book component is the one that we're interested in. And also, I would like to work with whatever values I have in my CSS. So why don't we add the class name? And let's say the class name is going to be book. And my idea would be like this. I would like to put the text side by side with the book. And then the books are going to be rendered. So here I'm going to write the following. And you know what? One thing I would like to add is just some space in between. I think this is going to look a little bit better. Then we can head over back to app CSS. Again, this is going to be our app CSS. We can either delete everything. That's also an option. We can say like this and then let's just target the book class. Now for the book class, we're going to say that this will going to be display of grid. Then we would like to set them side by side. So I'm going to say grid template columns. And then the first value is going to be how wide is the first column. And I would like to set this up for the image to be auto. So regardless of how big is the image, then I also would like to work with the second one, which is going to be one fraction. Now, one fraction is just going to be for a text, and this is going to take up the rest of the space. And here, let's add maybe grid uh, gap or grid column gap. Let's do that. Get a column back is going to be one REMs as well as last but not least. Let's add margin and we're going to write over here. I don't know. Uh, two REMs and zero, something like this. Now, the moment we save it, notice right now we're having our title. Then we are also have the author. However, the kicker here is the simple fact that as we're setting up this book, we should place this one in a separate div and then everything is going to be working because at the moment this is not going to work the way I would want. So I'm going to reset this as a title. And the only issue I guess right now is the, the dunk donkey is screwing up everything. So, and obviously the reason for that is probably because they're getting a different image. Like this is bigger, I guess. So why don't I go with this guy or not guy, I'm sorry, gal. And that way they're all going to be the same. So if you really like the donkey, my apologies, but we're going to get rid of it. And we're going to head over back to book data. And where are you donkey? I think you are like this. So I'm going to copy and paste it. Then we're going to get whatever the name is. And you know what? I know. What? Yeah, no, I can get the full name like this. I can just copy on this one and we're going to have the full name, something similar. And then we're going to head over again back to get the author. This was a little bit of detour. I wasn't expecting that the donkey is going to let me down. So hopefully we're going to be able to get over that. And now we save it. And at least now they look side by side. So that's our neat thing, how we can use the list. And if you want to, again, copy and paste it, once everything is set up in a state, we can whatever have values, how many you would like. So let's say one, two. Again, I'm not going to be changing the actual values. I will going to change the ID. Otherwise, you will going to have big fat error or maybe not error, at least a complaint in your console. This is going to be four. This is going to be five. 
and then this is gonna be six. So we should be having six of them. So that's really neat how we can work with react, set up our list, set up our functionality, and then we can just change whatever values we are getting from external API, or that would be our own list.